Hello guys, welcome back to another video today with me, ARC Exotics, and in this video we're going to be unboxing this. So, firstly, this package was sent from Ely Exotics. Now, these guys are a pretty new established reptile shop. Well, not even a reptile shop, just a pet shop overall. They also do like freshwater fish. Basically, I'll leave their Instagram here and I'll put it down below. Go and check them out on Instagram and again... The reason how I actually found these guys, they actually come up as a sponsored ad on Facebook. And I clicked on them and didn't realise how close they actually are to me. And obviously at the minute I can't go and visit due to our country, the UK, being on a full national lockdown. I'm only about an hour away so I'm not too far. So I definitely want to go and visit and do like a little shop tour if they'd allow me to when times permit. But for the time being I was just scrolling through their new Instagram feed. And I come up across this box here, which I've now got. Now, I'll show you a photo there or there, if I can, of some isopods. Now, as you guys know, in my previous videos, I've done how to breed isopods and isopod setups. Now, the only ones I've ever kept are the tropical grey and the giant orange. So in here, we've got some pretty special ones, and this is going to be pretty good. So we're going to unbox it and see what they're like. So let's go. So we'll start off the unboxing like this, just so you cannot see my address. But as you can see, first things first, this is packed really well. It's got the fragile label in here. It was also posted on a special delivery. I ordered these about 24 hours ago and they're already in my house. And that is quite good, especially considering the current climate we're in. Also, just in case, we have experienced a bit of cold weather recently. So they have put a heat pack in and it's actually still very nice and warm after about 24 hours roughly now. And again, cuttlefish bone for these guys. Obviously I didn't order this or pay for this, but they've just chucked it in for me. How very kind of them. Again, it's only something little, but it's these little things which go a long way. And now let's get in to the actual good stuff. So firstly, we've just got to clear all of these annoying things away. But really that is good that they've packed them so well. So yeah, we'll get these away and then we'll show you what we've got in the box. So we're not actually in the reptile room, we're actually in my bedroom. But um, you're going to hear a bit of rustling, we're just going to unbox this quickly without making too much of a mess, hopefully. Okay, I feel like we're going to make a mess. Well, we've got one of the boxes here, so I'll do a little close up and let's open this box first. So, before we do a close up on that one and unbox it, I just realised I thought it would be easier to get them all out and basically show you now. I also found another heat pack down there as well to keep them warm, but we'll show you what we've got, I'll just tell you first. So we have Orange Giant, Tropical Grey, Zebra, Clown. So I'm not sure if he's put a few more in here to separate them out so they're not crammed up, but we have another little box there. So um, let's see what that is. So that was actually my bad, it turns out I forgot that I ordered the um, the dairy cow ones as well, so that is another box. But um, these first guys here are actually the giant orange. Now I don't want to let any out, but as soon as I say that one almost comes out. But as you can see there, oh, we're losing them, we're losing them, quick. So not long after that, about three of them escaped, but we managed to get them all. But um, yeah, I'll show you them going into the enclosure that we've set up for them. But basically these are just the little um, giant orange ones. And again, really, really cool. So again, this is the second one. Not that you can see very well, but these are just the tropical grey. So we're going to start with the two most common ones first. Well, they're the most common ones that I've got anyway. All kept, but there you go there, that little guy. So there's 30 tropical grey in here. And we have 20 giant orange in here. And obviously I'll show you a bit of a close up when we actually put them into the little setups we've got for them. But um, yeah, that's them so far, two down. So next up, as you can see, these are the guys that I forgot about at the start. These are the dairy cows. Now these are fairly, not fairly common, but you could say sort of, definitely sought after. When they come up, they do tend to go where I'm from anyway. But um, yeah, these guys are the dairy cows. And again... Each of them I will show you a little bit of a closer look when we actually let them go into the enclosures. And we have 20 in there as well. So in this one we have 10 zebras. And again these are pretty rare to get hold of as well. So these are ones I've never kept before. And again you can't see many of them out and about. But we will show you them when they are in the little setups. 
So last but very not least we have the clown isopod. Now I will find out the scientific name for these guys but at the minute I'm just going to get them settled in and then um, we can get the names printed out onto them with the scientific term and the normal term. But yeah these are really really stunning as you can see there. The little red skirts going around them. But um, yeah let's get them into the setups. So as you guys can see, these are the tropical grey. Now I've put them into a bit of a taller tub so they can't get out. But um, this is just to show you. These are, oh there we go, one emerging there. These guys are the tropical grey. Now I'm going to try and breed these guys and just use them for my bioactive tanks which are just here. If you can see them, kind of. So um, I'm just going to breed them and try and actually use them as cleanup crew which is actually what they are for instead of kind of um, pet inverts so yeah as you can see all look pretty good little ones, big ones, medium ones, all sorts and they are going to be going into this little setup here so this is going to take longer than I thought, I've still got three to go but um, when you're trying to sieve through the dirt bit by bit to make sure you find all of them it does take a little while so the greys are all ready and in. Next up we have the giant orange and as you can see here, all very big, nice and plump, which is good. And obviously they come packed really well with all of the oak leaves. So we've put all of them in there for them to munch on as well. And now we're going to add these guys into the little setup we've got for them. Freedom! In they go. a little bit of dirt on top they're all out and there we go now all of the giant orange are in so that's two down and three to go so next up we have the isopods that I've never kept before these guys are called dairy cows, a lot of you would have heard of them. They're quite common, they're quite popular, but me personally I've never kept them. Now I ordered 20 and I think there's about 25 in here, so they chucked in 5 extra for me which was very kind. But again, a lot of different colours, that one there really dark brown compared to the others. But um, yeah, again, nice colours and that is our third species of the day. That means there's 3 down and 2 to go. So now we're just going to... Tip them in gently. Here they come. Plopping in. We've got a few more there. You just slide them onto the leaf. No more left in there, I don't think. And there we go. They're all in. On to the next ones. So now you could say we are left with the two hard hitters out of the group. So obviously we've got the greys which are settling in, the oranges and the dairy cows. So now we've got these two, oh just not the camera, <laughs> these two big guys, the zebras and the clowns. So I think we'll start with the zebras and leave the clowns till last. So let's go. Also before we open these I've never seen any of these species in person before. Um, a lot of research and that, but never seen them first hand, so this, sh this should be pretty good. So, up next is the zebras. Now, you can't see them awfully well, but not bad. As you can see, great coloration, great lines. A little bit of a piggyback going on here. But, um, yeah, I think we got 10 of these, and I think I counted something like 11 or 12, maybe. But, um, yeah, these guys are going in. Now, with these guys, different to... The others, we've done a small ventilation, just because they appreciate it. And with the clowns, we've done a bit bigger ventilation because they like quite a lot. So now we're going to add these guys in very carefully. Let me just do a little head count to see if they're all there. Yep, there we go. None left in. And there we go, they're in. So 
So these are the zebra isopods, you can just see the big one going off down the back there. Another big one there as well. So yeah, that is the zebra pods in. And last but not least, these big guys here are the clown isopods. As you can see, we've got a good variety, we've got some big ones here. And you see that little one just coming into the shot now. But yeah, look at the size of them, look at the colour. Look at the, the red skirt on some of them, it's really, really deep. But yeah, we've got some big guys as well. And we've got a few little ones. That one there, really high yellow. Wow, really happy with these. So now we're going to put them back into their enclosure and see how they get on. As you can see, a little bit of a big event for these guys. So um, other than that, let's very gently get these guys in. That little one is leading the way. Gotta be quite careful doing this. Oh, there's one tiny baby which is stuck. I think that is all of them by the looks of it. So, um, yeah, there we go. Last but definitely not least, the clown isopod. There we go. Just settling in. As you can see, some of them a bit dully yellow and some of them really really bright yellow. But the red skirt going around them is pretty crazy. You see that one just in that bit of cork there. Pretty bright red skirt. But um yeah, there we go. That is all of them settled in. So guys, that means all the isopods are in. There's some at the back there. This is just going to be a temporary place for them underneath the Madagascans um, and above the, or below the Scorpion. So um, yeah, like I say, other than that, that is basically it. We're going to feed them some fish flakes because that is what they enjoy. We're going to put some cuttle bone in there for them, give them a little mist and they should be all ready to be settled in and start breeding for us. So, like I said, all we're going to be doing now is just giving them a small piece of cuttlefish bone each. Well, obviously not each, but per per tub. And obviously I need to get labels for the tubs now, just to make sure I know what one's what. But like I say, we have the clown isopods, the zebra isopods, the dairy cow isopods, giant orange isopods, and the tropical grey isopods. So once I have a bit of cuttlefish bone each, we're going to be giving them a very small amount of custodial fuel from Arcadia, again it says exactly what it is for here, there we go, wood lice and springtails and obviously that is everything we need like beetles and worms as well, we're going to be giving them a tiny little bit of fish food as well, they can eat fish flakes and going to be giving them a little spray down, obviously we're not going to be applying both lots of food just going to mix it up between and obviously just do it as and when and make sure that it is all eaten. So what we're going to do is start off with the dairy cows by just taking off the lid and I already know where they're hiding because I just had a little look about 10 minutes ago. If I can get the lid off, there we go. Now if I just move this forward slightly, just under that log if I lift it up, you should be able to see all of them. There they are. There's a big majority of them. Just there. So we're going to put them back down so they can obviously settle in. And then we're just going to add their cuttle bone and give them a little spray. So there you are, as you can see we've just added the cuttle bone into this corner here and now we're just going to give them some fish flakes and um, that will be them done. Also we're just going to give them a tiny little spray because they have been in transit and they could potentially just need that there. So we're just going to give them a little little spray, nothing too much and that should do them nicely. 
So there you have it, we're just going to do this with all of them over, it will be pointless me showing you each individual one because they are all going to be hiding and it will be pretty similar. So like I say, cuttlefish bone, a little bit of fish flakes or the custodial fuel and a light little mist for them and hopefully they'll all be done just like that. I said I'm not going to show you each individual one but if I can get them in a good clump then I will show them. As you can see here, already a big group have decided to take refuge under this log, all spaced in together. This is when you can really see their true aspects, like their true colour and their size. As you can see, quite a lot of them under there, so we're just going to leave them to it, gently put them back, put in the bits and bobs we need and leave them to do what they do. So again, instead of showing you the whole process, I'm just going to show you a little snippet of them when they're settled in. Not that you can see too well, there you go. But there's a few of the tropical greys which are just on the underside of a leaf and you can see how much they've already ate away at that leaf. And a few more down there. So we're just going to put them guys back, do what we've got to do and then leave them to it. These two have both been done, so we've just got these guys left and the zebras and the clowns now you can't see the zebras too well because they are quite small but as you can see that guy there has waged himself extremely tightly into the log so I won't really be able to show him but um, there was one on the underside of the log if I just lift it up I'm not sure if you'll be able to see him there we are that little guy just there but other than that, these guys burrow a little bit deeper by the looks of it because when we unboxed them they were also very very low into the tub almost sort of buried and curled up so um, yeah just like that guy is there so yeah that is the zebras so again last but not least it seems to be the same with the clowns they don't really like to um, come out too much so you can see it was just one there and one there but other than that I think that is all you're going to see of them for now so um, yeah we'll let them settle back down give them what they need and then we'll do a little update video in a few weeks so guys other than that that basically covers this week's video thank you guys for watching that and again a massive thank you to Ely Exotics I will either leave their link or a photo of them there or there but again thank you to them for hooking me up with these guys and again I will be doing more videos on them so obviously they're going to need bigger enclosures if they start breeding which hopefully they will as you can see I've done everything right done the spray and done the cuttle bone the food etc the setups the dead wood the leaves everything is how it is so hopefully that will be good so from there obviously they will need bigger tubs so on and so forth they'll start breeding and the colony will hopefully grow and get a lot bigger so other than that like i say that is pretty much it so they are my new isopods so we had the giant orange the tropical gray the clown the zebra and a dairy cow so if you keep any isopods let me know down below what you keep and maybe that will tempt me to get them as well also Ely Exotics have got the very rare and highly sought after rubber ducky isopods and these are something that again I'm not too sure in the states or other places but in the UK you don't get them come up too often I had no idea what they even were and I laughed at the name but when I took a little google they did look pretty cool so who knows if these guys pan out well then we might even be getting some of them so other than that thank you for watching this week's, this week's video and stay tuned for another one next week